Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. In the past four years, the United States has used its own technology to change its own standards, making Huawei's Kirin chips unusable. And its own mobile devices have also been greatly affected. In terms of chip manufacturing, Huawei has been strengthening research on chip technology, including chip superposition technology, carbon-based chips, photonic chips, quantum chips, and more. Compared with conventional semiconductor devices, especially in quantum devices and optical devices, China is in a leading position. Recently, China's first quantum chip assembly line has been put into use. Will Huawei's chip problems be wiped out? China's first quantum chip manufacturing line. A few days ago, it was reported that in Hefei and Hui, the first quantum chip production base of Qianyuan Quantum Company was officially put into operation. And on this assembly line, a new quantum computer called Wukong will also be officially unveiled. It is reported that this is a 100% self-developed quantum chip production line and 24 sets of quantum chip manufacturing equipment related to it have been introduced. You know, after this production line was put into operation for one year, it has completed more than 1,500 batches of quantum dots and three domestically produced quantum dots, including a quantum dot lithography machine that can directly produce quantum dots. In addition, the quantum chips produced by this assembly line also have some advantages in some aspects. First of all, in terms of preparation technology, China has greatly improved the efficiency and quality of preparation by developing advanced instruments such as non-destructive detection and laser annealing. For example, using a non-destructive detector, the quality of the quantum chip can be detected and the quality of the chip can be identified in a non-destructive situation, thereby greatly increasing the survival rate of the chip. At the same time, by detecting the internal defects of the device, can effectively improve the performance of the device in the process of multi-bit expansion, and then improve the working efficiency of the device. Secondly, the efficiency of the quantum chip manufactured by the original quantum is more than a thousand times that of the ordinary chip. Like this time, the number of Wukong cores will exceed 64 bits. Theoretically, the capacity of each quit is the nth square of 2, which means that its computing speed will be more than a thousand times that of ordinary computers. Moreover, from the perspective of the entire industry chain, Origin Quantum also has its own advantages. Whether it is software, operating system, or QEDA, they are all independently developed. In addition, Yuan Yuan is still ranked sixth in the world. With this assembly line, can Huawei's chips find a way? China knows that its mobile phone market has gradually recovered since the release of Huawei's Mate 50, and it is expected to return to the era of two flagships in 2023. However, when Huawei is developing well, the United States wants to stop the supply of 4G. This shows that US companies are likely to stop the supply of Huawei's 4G chips, which will have an impact on Huawei's mobile phone industry. If breakthroughs cannot be made on chips, then Huawei's 4G chips will be provided by the US company Qualcomm. Huawei has been in the semiconductor industry for a long time, and even the technology of quantum chips has been made public. However, can this quantum chip 
really solve current problems? In fact, the answer is obvious, Huawei's chip problem cannot be resolved in the short term. First of all, the first quantum chip produced is mainly to create a quantum computer. In addition, judging from the current situation, it will take a long time for China to commercialize it. During this period, China has no way to turn it into reality. Secondly, it will not be able to replace traditional integrated circuits for a period of time in the future because its application range is too wide. For example, in quantum computing, in biomedicine, in artificial intelligence and other fields, it plays a pivotal role. As for personal consumer products such as mobile phones and computers, they are transistors based on traditional silicon. Third, from the design point of view, most of the current smartphones use traditional integrated circuits instead of ordinary integrated circuits. But this does not represent its size and structure. To apply it to mobile phones, there must be cooperation between manufacturers and upstream manufacturers, as well as cooperation with downstream manufacturers. Fourth, China will have to continue improving its quantum chips before they are fully commercialized. Judging from the current research results, it will take at least five to seven years to bring quantum technology to the market. Therefore, even with a quantum mechanical assembly line, it will not be able to provide sufficient technical support for Huawei in the short term. Overall, the completion of China's first quantum chip assembly line will bring China's technological advantages in quantum chips and quantum computing to a higher level. Although this line cannot provide enough chips to Huawei for the time being, it has great value. This will greatly promote China's national research and industrialization of quantum chips and will also greatly promote China's national scientific and technological progress. He has a good idea of what kind of transistor a quantum transistor will be in the near future, or even a transistor that replaces a traditional transistor. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel. We will upload daily technological news in our channel.